Hello everyone, it is I, Rock from Rock Plays, and today I'm doing a brand new unboxing video for you all. And today's unboxing video is going is going to be Mar a new Marvel Legends action figure. And that action figure is Toxin. Yep, I got Toxin a couple of days ago, and um, and and here he is. I decided to do a video on him. It's just it's just Toxin. He he's not a build a figure or anything, or doesn't come with a piece. However, I, I'm doing a build a new Marvel Legends build figure soon though. My dad, my dad got him for me, so thank you, Dad. And now let's uh, well, let's open up and see if he's and see if he's worth getting. If he was worth getting. This one I've actually been looking uh, forward to to a lot, and uh, he has a lot of pieces. Uh, so this is essentially a Venom combined with Carnage. Uh, he actually comes with uh, this, uh, which are which are his, which is his back. Uh, Here's my other This came out. Okay. These basically, I think, stuff that goes on his back. Okay, open it up. Background's pretty cool. It's just uh, Spider Man there. He has a description on the box here in a whole bunch of different languages, but I'll read the one that says here. The English one. The 1000 symbiote in a lineage that includes Carnage and Venom. Toxin is feared by many to be the strongest and most dangerous. Just as that. So let's see. Here's a, there's, here's the back of him. I like how like there's kind of like a black color on it. And also, uh, I think it was like this, a red color right there too. Sorry. So it came off. I was knocking off, supposed to. It actually is like these little, uh, these little giant, uh, um, I don't know what these are, like little mouths or something. Here's one that's closed, here's one that's open. That's pretty cool. Here's some more. And uh, here he is. Here is uh, here's Toxin. These two stay on. The entire back's supposed to go on him, so let's put the back on him. So I supposed to go on this way. There you go. Good, so the back, back's on and out. And here he is. He looks pretty cool, actually. I like his head. His head looks like a combination of Venom and Carnage, which is what he's supposed to be. I'm actually surprised they actually would do this. I heard Venom and Carnage really don't like each other. So I'm surprised they would fuse into a very powerful symbiote. Okay, let's see where these go. These probably can go on his back. At least I think so. There's one with like a little piece right there, you can kind of see right there. Uh, that's where it's supposed to connect that. Oh, I sh oh, sure. There you go. Got it on. So, looks like it snaps on. Unlike the Maximum Venom figures, it actually looks like it can keep on a lot more. I was worried because I don't really like these types of attachments because they can come off easy. Over time, I remember this is Maximum Venom, not my not Battalion Hero series figures. This one also has a piece right here you can open up, uh, or, or you can, uh, not open up, sorry, um, to put on, um, does any, do any parts go on his legs or something? Where, where do these go? I don't know where these go. Toxin has a lot of stuff on his back, so... This definitely goes on in the back. Um, actually, I don't know how you get this on. Oh wait, there actually is a part right here where you can. I think you can put one of these on. Maybe. Yeah, that's cool. So apparently, for this, there's like a little hole there you can put these on. You take these off. That little part right there, that little part right there, you can put on. There. That way, that way, it looks like it's, it looks like it's going out a lot more. Um, I think is this how? I don't know how I get this one on. Am I supposed to put this on first? I don't think so. Hmm. Right back to see if I can get on. Well, you know, shortly after I paused, I just used kind of slide in there. 
There's also a part, kind of a hole right there. You can kind of see it. It's kind of reddish. And here's the other part of it. You can kind of just put it in like that somehow. There you go. And there you go. All of them are connected now. Um, and he has all this creepy venom moves or stuff out of them. Oh. And at least it's a pretty cool action figure. I really like it. It's a bit confusing of how to put the stuff on his back. <laughs> However, when you actually do put it on his back, he looks very cool. This is definitely a figure out of your collection, especially if you're a fan of spy of like the uh, the of fan of Venoms, just any Venoms in general. This one's probably I think it's one of my favorite Venoms, mainly because his face is very creepy and he he's definitely one I never heard of before until now. So like the bottom half looks like he's Venom, top will say he's Carnage. He's basically a fusion. He looks way bigger than Venom. Looks, he looks way bigger than Venom and Carnage too. So that's pretty cool. His face he has kind of a face of both Venom and Carnage and a big, really big green tongue. Very sharp claws. Well, not very really sharp. They look sharp. He he, he has the he has these the little mouths that can open up and close. I know what those are for. Yeah. Overall, though, he's a really solid figure. I think he's very cool. I, I really like his design, I, and he was one of the figures I was most looking I was I was most looking forward to. And it was worth the wait. He's a really cool figure to get. Uh, I highly recommend you actually uh, get by this figure. He's a very cool figure. I definitely recommend getting him. And he, he looks very cool too. I like all the little veins they they uh, painted onto him or sculpted. And his paint job is very cool. His head's a bit rocky, but that's pretty. But I also like that. And the back is pretty cool. It's a lot, but it's pretty cool. And that's actually I'm um, going to be it for today's video. Today's video is very short because it was just him I was talking about. But I highly do recommend you buy him. He's a great character to get. I think I think a lot of M fans would be um, would be happy getting this character, especially since he's labeled as the most powerful. I don't know if it's true or not, but maybe it is. I've never seen him in like a TV show or anything before. Even if he's not, though, he's still a very cool character again. He has a very cool design. So overall, I recommend him. He's a great character. And that's going to be today's video, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. The video below this one is actually a uh, my 100 subscriber special. Uh, so please click on that one if you have not seen it. Uh, thank you all so much for over 100 subscribers. I'm very I'm very happy about that. Uh, and I hope to make more content, Marvel, DC, Dragon Star, Dragon Stars, anything like that in the future. Even Finance or Freddy's. And mini, and mini Geek Machine, too. So anyway, that's going to be today's video, everyone. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell so you never miss a new video, especially for Mar if you like these Marvel Legends videos. Uh, anybody who wants to check, please check out my Spider-Man Maximum Venom videos. Those videos are really, those videos have a lot of good view, a lot of views, apparently, which I'm surprised, and I think they'll get a lot of views, but they did. Thank you all who clicked on those videos just to give them a quick glance, or maybe watch them whole, or maybe just half, doesn't matter. Thank you all for watching them, and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye!